welcome back to my channel welcome back to mom on a budget mission I am on my way to work so if you see me looking away that's what I'm doing I'm driving okay so I just wanted to come on here to update you my camera keeps moving because I'm driving I just wanted to give you guys an update on what has been going on with my house my house journey so when we last when I last updated you I was waiting on what was I waiting on I was waiting on <sighs> the underwriter so the same day I made that video the underwriter or my processor sent my documents off to the underwriter so they after about three days or so the processor got back to me and the underwriter wanted mad documents I was like can this get any worse will this get any worse so they wanted to see um, additional credit history for me they wanted to see um, the check for the deposit they also wanted to see the bank statement sorry about this little thing on a jig they wanted to also see the bank statement from where they pulled the check from my account they also wanted Back, um, pay stubs for 30 days I guess I sent but I sent for the last month I sent for July and maybe the first week of August so they wanted to see bank statements for the whole month of August they also wanted they also wanted to see because I had paid some um, I had paid some of my debts like we had, and when I say we, I'm talking about myself and my husband. We had three credit cards that I paid those off, you know. So those were off. They wanted to see, um, you know, the final payment receipt or something like that. Honestly, I don't know why because I had sent all that information to them already. So, you know, my loans officer had explained that maybe they didn't realize that it was already there but you know I had already sent those off so what else did they need they needed um they needed to see hmm, what else I, I forgot what else they needed to see oh they needed to see a non-traditional um because they're they said they're trying to build my credit up so they wanted to see a non-traditional type of um credit history like you know like a cell phone bill or uh, electric bill or you know cable bill or whatever so I printed they wanted to see 12 months payment history good thing I'm a gal who pays on time I mean when they say late it, it means in the credit world late payment starts 30 days after your due date so if you're paying your bill 30 days after your payment date this will be reported on your credit report as late payment but if it's like a few days because my bills are like paid on different days it might go between my cell phone is due on the 13th and on the history I saw up to the 24th where I paid I paid up to the 24th of the other month that is not um, counted as late it has to be uh, 30 days so I'm good as it relates to my my cell phone um, my cell phone bill get out of this lane I'm being careful guys I'm being careful so I'm on here recording so yeah um, so yeah, they wanted to see all of that, so I had to get on it, and I scanned all these documents and sent them off. So now, 
I'm waiting to hear back from the processor. I have not heard from her since I sent them off. And oh, this is the other thing that they wanted. They wanted to see an insurance binder paid in full for the entire year. Now, um, at the insurance, guys, I'm switching lanes again because these people are moving like mighty slow. So they wanted to see an insurance binder. So I went to the insurance company and um, what they told me was they had different payment plans. So you can get a payment plan for a month, monthly for a year or quarterly, or if you wanted to pay it in full, you could do that also. You know, they wanted to see it for a whole year. I'm thinking, because they, they gave me an insurance for $926 for the entire year. If I can get, if I can get um, better insurance, I'm gonna switch from them. I'm going to, you know, if I could get better, cheaper insurance, I'm going to take the cheaper insurance because I'm not about to pay $900 if I don't have to. Because that's, that's a lot right now when you have a mortgage to pay. You have all those bills that come comes with the mortgage. Um, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to um, seek out seek out cheaper insurance. So I'm going to be calling around on Monday to get cheaper insurance. I did I did go to a few other um, insurance, one that I already have renter's insurance with. Theirs was like a thousand and eighty five yeah a thousand and eighty five dollars. The other one that I have my auto with guys listen this company wanted me to pay eighteen hundred dollars mind you they have my auto insurance and they wanted me to pay an additional $1,800 for homeowners insurance. So they keep texting, but I ain't answering because that's way too much. And I already have my car insurance, which got three cars on there for $2,900 because somebody got a few tickets and stuff. So gotten a few accidents so they raised it on us but anyways that's another story but that insurance company I'd have to check if I can call their names but I'm telling you they're a rip off <laughs> rip off but anyway I I just I don't like to be bothered with paperwork paperwork is my I love dealing with paperwork if I have to do it for myself you know um for my job I will but it's the hardest thing ever to like get paperwork together it's like the hardest thing ever and oh it kicks my butt but I got it still you know I'm I, I gotta do it it's, it's for a reason so I'm gonna do it I'm strong like that I like to push and um hopefully again they move well hopefully they keep my my um my closing at the date that it's at now because the last time the last time I spoke to them they told me it was the 20th of September and now like a week later she said the 22nd so I'm like do they know what they're talking about um she mixing me up with somebody else like what are they doing but so I'm working with the 22nd. I guess my attorney will be the one with the final say as it relates to when the closing date will be. So I'm actually very excited about this process and I might I don't really show my excitement very much because it's it's so much stress getting to to there. And like I said, it's not it's not a bad process it's just me I don't like dealing with documents especially the ones that I've sent before and then they're asking for it again it's like oh kills me so you know that's my greatest thing I just gotta learn to figure myself out when it comes to documentation and knowing how to 
you know, be chill when it comes to that because I really am not in a chill spot when it comes to documents. But anyways, aside from all of that, what I have going on, I also started on the 4th of August, I started my weight loss journey. I have not consumed any carbs until yesterday. Why I did it, I don't know. But yes, I did. And I guess, you know what, sometimes you you just, um, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta take a break from some things, you know. You have to take a break. Sorry, I'm fixing my camera. You just have to take a break. So currently, I lost uh, 15 pounds in one month. Like I said yesterday, I went and, and I had some basmati rice. It was really good, can I tell you? <laughs> I don't know if, I, if it's because I haven't had rice in a long time, but it was good. It was good. So, and I had brought some to work. So I had a little bit, you know, those little little side plates. I had put some in the side plate, just a little bit. And then I brought a little bit to work. So it really was not a lot, but I had it. I should have never had it, but I did. So anyways, um, yeah, I did. Felt a little bad when I was done, but it don't matter. At first, when I first started this weight loss journey, I had, um, for four days, I did the apple cider vinegar with orange juice. I did that for four mornings. I didn't do it at nighttime. I only did it in the mornings. Um, <clears throat> sorry, my throat is dry. Yeah, so I did that for four days, and, um, it worked well. I, that's where I lost my first four pounds. I lost four pounds for those four days and then I started just no carbs at all just vegetables and some meat like yes I don't know what was going on yesterday but I was just having a, a like a full cheat day yesterday because I did have fried chicken yesterday that I made at home fried chicken wings I made my son fried chicken wings yesterday and for some strange reason, I, I went and I had some. So, you know, that too <laughs> kind of messed up my whole dieting yesterday. But, I mean, one day is not going to hurt. As long as you, if you jump off of that diet train today, jump back on tomorrow. <laughs> jump back on tomorrow. Just don't keep it going, you know, because I will definitely not keep it going. Because this morning I had my, my um, for, for, I'm not even going to say breakfast. I'm going to say brunch. Because I had this at 12.30. So I call it brunch. Okay. So, you know, I had um, broccoli, cauliflower, and the Jamaican Jack mackerel. Woohoo! That thing was good. So that's what I had for um, breakfast this morning. But I think I kind of messed it up because I had Milo tea. I love me some Milo tea. I don't use milk. So it was just the tea alone, just the Milo. I just put, you know, three extra scoops in there. <laughs> I put a few extra scoops in there in order to make it. Because I don't use sugar and I don't use milk. So, you know, it was just Milo and water. So, yeah. And it was good. And I have not eaten yet, but I bought with me from home. I brought, um, a cucumber it's organic cucumbers I bought a cucumber I brought a, a spinach wrap and hopefully when I get to work I'll find something to put in that wrap maybe some maybe some chickpeas or um, you know, chickpeas or some kind of bean for protein because I don't think I'm gonna be having any more chicken for now at least for a week sorry guys I'm pulling onto the highway so what time is it I don't even know the time and I'm pulling onto the highway so I gotta be very careful now so I won't be looking at the camera too much 
But yeah, I won't be having um, a lot of meat or chicken because that's the, really the only thing I eat. We'll be having a lot of chicken um, this week. But yeah, I'm going to be eating beans for the protein. And I'm going to start taking some vitamins because I'm not on any vitamins. And because I'm not having carbs, I've been feeling a little, you know, sleepy. I've been sleeping longer and all of that. But I really need to start getting up because I did start school. That in my next video, I'll tell you all about my nursing school um, journey. I'll tell you about that in my next video, so look out for that. Um, so, you know, because I started school, I got to get up very early in the mornings, eat breakfast for my son, take him to school, because for my school, I can't be not even a minute late. If I'm a minute late, I'm out for, I mean, it's like I'm, I wasn't there for a whole hour, for one minute. One minute. I've never heard any of that in all my life but you know what it's my final semester so i'm not even gonna complain not even complaining <laughs> look am i complaining no, i'm not <laughs> i'm just happy I'm ready to get out of there yeah so um you know that's that's what i have going on so like i said my weight loss i lost 15 pounds i am under 200 right now and I'm hoping to get to 185, but I'm taking it step by step because weight loss is not an easy road for me, especially because I have tried so many times to lose weight and it never happened. So this time around, I'm, I don't know, I feel like I'm stuck at 199, so I'm going to really have to start doing some different things. I'm really going to have to start doing things differently. You know, to make sure I really do not put any carbs in my diet for another another couple of days or so. So yeah, um, but yeah, that's what I got going on, and I will keep you guys updated on my weight loss, on my nursing school journey, and on my house journey. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope this video will not be too shaky because I'm driving. And I'm almost at work. Really left home very late, but I could do this, you know. You know, you got that training. You got that defensive driver training. Um, big up to the JCF for teaching me how to drive defensively. My instructor, big ups to you. You know yourself. I don't remember his name. That's why I said that. But I think, what was his name again? Damn. Davis. Corporal Davis from the Jamaica Police Academy, formerly Jamaica Police Academy, now National Police College of Jamaica. Big up Corporal Davis. He taught me how to drive defensively. And I'm happy that I can use those skills at this point in my life. Thank you, Corporal Davis. Big up yourself. And um, I'll also tell you guys about my JCF journey. Because, yeah, I have a lot of journeys to share with y'all. But this will be the end of my video for today. Thank you guys for watching. Like my video. Subscribe to my channel. And share this video. Share, share, share. Like, like, like. Subscribe. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Peace out.